Welcome to the Life in Ohio vlog for March 24th, 2020. This is COVID-19 update number two. kind of here to give you a little COVID update here. Um, today is the day uh, to get out and do things that aren't, are not allowed under the uh, governor's order that starts at midnight tonight, uh, where he's ordering us to stay home except for essential things. Now, what does that exactly mean? Um, in our case, it means you can go to the grocery store, you can get gas, uh, you can go take care of family members. You can't have visits from family members, um, apparently. Um, although I don't know how they're going to enforce that. Um, but you can go help family members, which I don't know. And then further uh, things like, uh, I guess, going to the hardware store would be allowable under the order. As would, um, would uh, things like that, you know, are are allowable so um that's least it with regards to that but well, one of the things that i'm going to do probably later today i'll probably go ahead and, and i'm gonna wait until uh i can either get out of this room to record it or um do this um after hours before i put put this together to upload to youtube but I am going to talk about uh, the elephant in the world right now, which is politics. Uh, and I'm not going to come down on either side of things. Um, right now, uh, that's not my concern, is what side you're on or what side I'm on. Okay? So I'll be back in a moment. To continue what I was talking about here, it's actually another day I, I decided to um, uh, do some other things before uh, I actually got into uh, finishing off this vlog. But uh, what, what I got coming up here is kind of going to go down um, to the point here. Here's some footage here that uh, I recorded when I made a simple stop like I always do to Kroger last night after work kind of before uh, our uh, mandatory stay at home thing started even though that order itself is kind of uh, I won't call it vague because it's not vague but it's definitely got some holes in it so but here's what you see here you see is is empty shelves and uh, I, I wish I could wish I really would have been able to record this one little clip here um, that uh, I didn't record. I'm a little old woman standing at these empty shelves trying to find uh, some food to eat. And uh, unfortunately because of the hoarders, because of the people that are panic buying, because they're afraid the stores aren't going to be open after, after the stay at home order, even though they are. They're open today. Uh, you can go. I can go over there right now if I wanted to. And if if I got pulled over, the police would say, um, "You going to the store?" Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. So, moral of this here is, is I am not a fan of this kind of behavior. Um, buy what you need to get through this. Um, but you don't need to buy as much as you're buying. Like, like I saw another picture on Facebook. I may, um, go ahead and throw that in there here too, where, um, there's a person at a register with just a cart full of chicken. And it just really, really bothers me when I see this kind of behavior. We're supposed to be better than that. And this kind of goes further into where, um, if you see the, uh, um, the news about, they're talking about, uh, 
the uh, coronavirus uh, bill. Uh, the Senators, the Senate bill, and there's a House bill. And the House bill, there are provisions in the bill that don't even belong there for this kind of a thing. Uh, like uh, there's a bailout. There's a th- provision in the bill for USPS, which right now is fired right now. Not having a problem. They're still running. Uh, there is some stuff in there in uh, the the Senate version uh, that will be applied to her, towards airlines, but airlines get people from from where they need to be uh, to where they need to go. They are a critical piece of our infrastructure, so they should get some money out of this. Um, and then uh, in the news stories yesterday, they had you know Trump was. Uh, not caring about people when he said that he wants the the uh, country to be reopened here in, in at the end of this two weeks. Uh, and he also added a provision. I wish I could find a clip, but he you know he is not saying that the country is going to open no matter what. He's saying if it's medically possible that the country is going to open. And the whole thing is 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 you got one side of the house, one side of our government that's just never wanting to drop their identity politics and their uh, and their agenda during a crisis like this and that's just upsetting to me so um that's about all I want to have today in the video um we're doing well uh we're surviving um I'm getting exercise I'm actually tearing carpets up in my house uh, because I really don't have anything better to do in the evening other than listen to stuff that I already listen to so I can do that while I'm ripping carpets up. So, um, hug your kids. Uh, they're about the only people you can hug right now. So, uh, and uh, be safe and God bless.